Hi everyone, this is Jim Lewis at Model Train Technology. Uh, you've seen this railroad crossing flasher in a box before. And uh, here's a little piece of foam. Here's my sensor, uh, my train going in front of the sensor. And you can see the, uh, the flashers going on. And let's take a quick look inside the box just in case you forgot what that looks like. Uh, we have the power module. Uh, we have a signal controller and we just have the sensors coming down through, so pretty simple. Uh, so what we wanna do is I wanna show you hooking up our sound module to the flashers. And you know, there's no ding, ding, ding sound. Well, inside the sound module, that's exactly what there is. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna, I just plugged in this short piece of, uh, of connector. Uh, your connecting wire will be two blacks, uh, but this just happened to be in the bench, a little short piece with red and black and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off the magnet base which comes with the detector and I'm going to connect this wire and it really doesn't matter just two adjacent uh, connections so let me do that now okay so I've just connected those two wires onto the uh, power module and I'll slide this back in underneath here to its magnet base and there we go so and these wires are just it's just plugged into the sound module. There's nothing fancy about it, very simple. And uh, the other thing that I did is in the signal controller, the sensor, both the sensors have the two yellow wires coming out and I added a, a third wire and this is what we're gonna hook up to the sound module. All right, so I've connected up that other uh, signal wire right here to the uh, signal controller. So the two sensors and this extra wire. And what we're gonna do is plug it in here. And I've got this kind of uh, upside down this way. And you can see there's a, the first one is a ground wire and then there are four triggers. So I'm just pick, gonna pick one in the middle here. Uh, let's try the second one. So the first three triggers are bells and the fourth one is an announcement. Uh, and it's my voice announcing the arrival of an Amtrak, just so you can play around with that. And I'm doing reaching out about 12 inches from my body uh, so I can get the camera in there. All right, so I just connected the wire up and I'm gonna turn the power on. And in fact, let's just do this. So what I'm gonna do here is to show you, uh, I disconnected the power, I'm just gonna plug it into the power module and you'll know it's working because the blue light flashes. So we're gonna just put that on the side. We're gonna close the box and get that out of the way. And I'm going to get my foam train and I'm gonna come in from this side. And now you can hear the bell and let me tilt this up so you can actually see the lights. I'm gonna put something Underneath, I took, took the train in a way. Let's do the train again. Here comes the train, and there's the bell, and the blue light is on while that's on. So that's pretty loud. Uh, you can adjust it. Let me put this back here, just leave it there. You can adjust it. There's a volume control right here. You can see it's pretty loud. When you get it the way you like it, you push this button once. And that way, when the train, when the sound comes up the next time, so let's let this play out. That's the volume that it's set at. And all four channels have a separate volume setting. Uh, so it's very simple. And there's the, uh, there's the, the sound uh, controller on there, all right? So the other thing that I wanna show you, I'm gonna turn the bell off and uh, so we've got power from our power module. And this, this line right here, I've got in my right hand, let me put my screwdriver down and dropped on the floor, but that's okay. We don't need that anymore. I'm gonna plug in my DCC lines. This is just coming from my Digitrax controller. And I'm gonna just put that, I'll just leave that right on top. And here is my Digitrax system and Okay, and what I've got here is I'm going to put it into switch mode and I've got it on three and I'm just going to push the 
uh, throne button. And that's the bell we had before. I'm gonna use switch five. That'll be a different bell. And the last one I'm gonna do is, is uh, position six and Amtrak now arriving on track one. All right, so you've got that control by DCC and you've got it, the sensors from your layout and the power, nothing, no power coming off of your uh, DCC system. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you very quickly is the uh, external power hookup. It's a pretty simple setup. It's a connecting uh, adapter and we have the same type of speaker connected with a uh, length of uh, three foot wire. And uh, what we'll do, let's start the bell going. And I'm gonna plug this in and it disconnects the onboard speaker. And now the sound is coming out of the speaker and you can put this out on your layout if you like. All right, so pretty simple. I can just unplug this. It'll go back to this speaker, plug it back in. And now I've got the remote speaker. All right, so that's a quick update on hooking up the uh, flasher in a box system with uh, the model train technology sound controller. And uh, if you haven't seen the video on the sound controller yet, check it out. Uh, there is a USB connection here and you can add your own sounds. Uh, and it's pretty cool because on the back, there's a bunch of dip switches. So you can add different behaviors of interrupting, uh, repeat play or play once kind of uh, controls. So pretty cool. So that's uh, the flash in the box and the sound module. If you already have the flash in the box, uh, of course you can add the sound module just as easily as we did here. The two power wires, you've already got the power module, so you don't need another one of those and just a single wire from the sensors uh, to, the, to the sound controller. That's it, see you next time.